Hello students, I am Sarika. Uh, I am going to be sharing the problem with you today instead of Rohit sir. Uh, usually every day I run product and engineering as VP of engineering in a startup. But today I am here to discuss problem number 21 with you guys. So let's get started. As you can see the problem is displayed in the screen um, and the question is very simple. You can see a circle and you can see four squares within it. Uh, if this circle has four squares where each square has an area of 16, what do you think is the area of the circle? Take your time, pause the video and try the question now. Hi students, hopefully you were able to get the answer. If you did, that's awesome. If you didn't, let's go through and find out what the solution is. So let's go ahead and first of all mark the center and let's mark the uh, line that passes through the center and through the middle points of the squares. As you can notice that this would be the radius of the circle. And if we knew the radius of the circle, well, the area is straightforward, it would be pi r square. So how can we find the radius of this circle? Well, a very neat trick to solve any question in uh, Olympiad or in, in any problem in mathematics is to figure out what information can you extract from the problem which is hidden in the keywords. For example, here it's given that it, the, the, all the rectangles are actually squares and the area is 16. What can we figure out from these two pieces in, of information? Quite a bit actually. You can notice that this is this length is actually of size 2. Uh, the length of all the three squares together is size 12 and various other lengths. Please make a notice of all of this. Hopefully you understand why uh, the lengths are as given as shown in the diagram. Once we have all of these measurements, what's the next step? The next step is to come back and focus on finding the radius. So how do we actually find the radius from the identified measurements? We start from what we can see. Let's focus on only one area, one set of uh, squares and only one uh, side of information. If we focus on these three key pieces of information, you can easily see that r square is equal to 12 minus d whole square plus 2 square by using the simple Pythagoras theorem. Got it? Okay, great. Let's move on. But this only has uh, one, this is only one piece of information and we don't know d yet. So what can we do? Well, let's look at the other set of measurements. Can we use it in some way again to figure out the radius? Surely we can. If we look at the sides of the squares and use D again, again using the Pythagoras theorem, we can write uh, the radius as R square equal to 4 plus D square plus 6 square. Notice that I have only rearranged the same measurements that we had found out in the previous screen. Got it? Great. So with these two pieces of information, we are almost there. We simply need to solve the two equations to find what is D and then what is R. If you solve it, which I'm sure you can, you'll figure out that D is equal to 3 and R square is equal to 85 which means that the area of the circle is pi r square that is 85 pi hope you enjoyed the question guys i know it is not a difficult one because this is the first time i'm talking to you and the next time hopefully i'll come back with a trickier problem thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe let me know what kind of problems you like let me know what are you doing in these days uh, sitting at home. Hopefully you are having fun spending time with your family. Stay happy, stay healthy and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sarika and signing off for the day. Thank you.